<laughs> this is the World Cup, but there also the transfer window that opened the 1st of July. If the contract has come to an end, you leave the club. If they want to sign you for free, you join the, your favorite club. But no doubt about that. Let's begin with, by looking at what's happening in the World Cup. And tomorrow, as Jeff has said, it is France versus Uruguay. Everyone is fully fit for that game, apart from Edison Cavani. And uh, Oscar Tabare is going to be giving his press conference this afternoon to tell us exactly how they're going to cope up with Cavani. Just in case it happens the way it happened with Colombia, James Rodriguez are being put on the bench. Cavani, very instrumental, scored twice against Portugal to help them qualify for the quarterfinal. And he is going to be a big miss if he doesn't play. What time is that game, Kenan? At 5 p.m. Kenyan time. I'm just telling guys, I know it's on a Friday. Usizime kablo jona final. Please don't. Usianze mapema. Yeah. Mm. And FIFA condemning Diego Maradona big time because oh. he said that match between England and Colombia was monumental. Oh. The referee failed to control the players. He was basically biased according to Diego Maradona. You know, FIFA is paying Diego Maradona almost 1.3 million Kenyan shillings to watch a single game. What? <laughs> uh, watch two. One Maradona mic. One there. mic. Yes. Maradona is in the stands. Yeah. <laughs> what? But it doesn't care. He was supporting Colombia in that game. And it was sad to see them being knocked out. And FIFA have actually come out to condemn him big mm-hmm. time. From there, we hear from Vincent Company. How is he going to cope up with the Neymar? This is what he told the Brazilian journalist who asked him about that. You're Brazilian and you're sitting on the fence. You tell me what you want me to do. <laughs> what, what do you think? <laughs> I don't know. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're scared to answer, huh? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, I don't care. Honestly, I don't care. Um, if, if it's going to be a game of individual performances and just that, uh, then let me tell you now, we have no chance against Brazil. But if it's going to be a collective performance and a smart team who knows how to play together and fight for each other, then we have a chance and that's the only thing I care about. And then whatever any player on the other team does will, will not matter as much. Vincent Company, Toby, and of course, uh, Jan Vertonghen. Up against Neymar, Firmino. If Firmino starts, I'm happy because he's going to do what he did to company when Liverpool played against Manchester City. I will be glad to see Firmino start in that game because so far, Gabriel Jesus is wearing a Brazil number nine jersey. Wow. At this stage of the World Cup, one assist, zero goals for Gabriel Jesus. Jesus hasn't scored? He hasn't scored. Maybe he'll score tomorrow. Maybe he'll score tomorrow. <laughs> will Marcelo start? Marcelo must start tomorrow. He must start. He was fit uh, in the previous game, but they chose uh, basically they chose to uh, to put uh, Felipe Luis because they were just taking precaution. Remember, his back injury sustained mm-hmm. in the previous game against uh, Sabia. Now to some transfer news. It's going to be a big change, but he won't be alone. Those are normal words, but the words of Arsenal target Lucas. At Torreira, you can watch him tomorrow against France. Twenty-five million pounds is what Arsenal are ready to pay. Uh, that is uh, Sampdoria to get the services of the Uruguay midfielder. At the same time, Jose Mourinho interested in signing Zendan Shakiri uh, from uh, Stoke City. Twelve million pounds is what Stoke City are demanding for Zendan Shakiri. Very, very powerful winger. And of course, Mario Mandzukic is on the cards for Manchester United. And the fullback, that's Damian Mateo, is going to be part of that deal he moves to Juventus Mario Manzuki is 32 year old joins Manchester United Alexandro also has agreed terms with Manchester United 53 million pounds is what United will pay Juventus for the Brazilian fullback and then Gonzalo Higuain could be joining Man- uh, Chelsea Part of that deal is going to be Alvaro Morata, plus, of course, 53 million pounds for Gonzalo Higuain. He's 30 years old, but Sari wants to see him playing for the Blues. Andre Gomez will be joining Arsenal, 30 million pounds, what Barcelona are demanding for the Portugal midfielder. He's played less than 10 times, actually, less than 20 times for Barcelona since joining the Catalan Giants from Valencia. Eva Benaga is chosen to stay with the Sevilla, so it's a big blow to Arsenal. And Everton are ready to sign a Colombian defender that is Yeri Mina. Yeri Three Mi- goals for Mina. Yeri Mina. Everton. Everton. Wow. I thought he was going to Barcelona. He's at Barca. Oh, he's there But now. they want to take him on loan. Whoa. On loan until the end of the season. It's a, ah, come on. Mina. 
I can't let Mina leave Barcelona. Gerald Pique is aging. <laughs> They need a replacement. Mina Umtiti is going to be a very powerful backline for yeah, Barca. Yeah. So if they let uh, Mina go on loan in the name of Gerald Pique, but Pique is very influential, by the way, Jeff. Mm-hmm. He mm-hmm. was actually one of the people who um, negotiated that deal, the Rakuten deal. Even Shakira, the company played a big role is that right? in uh, helping Barcelona get that uh, chance sponsorship. Iniesta's gone, right? It's gone. Yeah. Chain is Super League. Uh, <laughs> Gabi Fernandez you need also be playing in Qatar. He's Atletico Madrid captain. He's been there for quite some time. So, not uh, many changes we're going to see them at Barcelona. For Real Madrid, we have to wait until the, uh, the, at the end of the World Cup. That's when you're going to know if Gareth Bell is staying, Ronaldo is staying, or they're going to get Robert Lewandowski. If Ronaldo goes, would they go for Neymar? For Neymar, they have to pay. There were reports yesterday that uh, they were approaching PSG for Kylian Mbappe, they already to pay a world record fee of 240 million pounds. But Real Madrid released a statement in the afternoon and said nothing like that has been agreed. He's not for sale. He's not for sale. They have not even negotiated with PSG uh, for Kylian Mbappe. Neymar's father wants him to join Real Madrid. Rivaldo Ronaldo want him to join Real Madrid because they say he won't win the Ballon d'Or if he plays for PSG. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. for PSG, very much interested in getting Golo Kante. 70% of the earth is covered by water. The rest? Singolo Kante. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe I should make my way to White Hart Lane now. Maybe this is the time. You're also on the transfer. Yeah, I'm on the transfer. Okoko transfer mode. Um, yeah. You might be ditching Chelsea for Tottenham. Yes. Spies. Only if... What are the conditions? Wanyama sends me a shirt with my name on it. Original. Wanyama and Mariga are visiting Mombasa today. Is They're going right? to visit a team called Malindi Stars. So, Wanyama, if you're listening to us on 96.0 in Mombasa, mm-hmm. remember, alongside your brother, McDonald Mariga, yes. the only way Jeff is going to leave Chelsea to support Tottenham is... Original shirt with my name on it. Hey. Tottenham. What if Wanyama leaves Tottenham for Manchester United? For example, I'm just saying... <laughs> <laughs> are you saying something? Are you trying to say something? No, I'm just saying. Mourinho was at some point interested in signing, yeah, but remember. he's staying with Tottenham. Actually, Tottenham sent a statement to Football Kenya Federation. Wanyama should not be involved in any friendly matches during this holiday time. Oh. He should not be. They want to keep him nice and healthy. Yeah. He was out for four months. They don't want to risk that. True. true. So they need him and Eric Dyer in that midfield alongside. Moussa Dembele, that's if he stays, because the Inter are very much interested in signing Moussa Dembele. Kane? Staying. Signed a six-year deal, man. <laughs> so far, top scorer? Six goals in the World Cup. Six and one shootout. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kianda. As always, okay, well. Asante Sana. Very well.